Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about uh, indexing list. Now indexing list can be uh, very useful. It's very important to know how to do this because when we create lists we want to our lists contain a lot of content and lists are useless if we can't access that content on its own. Yeah sure we can you know return a list that contains all the content but what good is that going to be? Um, if it's in like a list style to a user, like users don't want to read lists, so we want to be able to pull content out of a list and display it to a user when we need to. So indexing gives us a lot of flexibility with that. So let's take a look at this. First I'm going to create a list. And I'm going to use an example um, of say we have a user on, a, on one of our programs and he adds his content in. So we're going to create a list, and we're going to go, uh, his first name's John, his last name is Doe, he's 30 years old, um, he lives in Philadelphia, and his phone number is 215. Five 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 one two one two, and there's our list. It's our user's information. All right, so we created a, a list object that contains other objects. Um, so John's his first name, last name's Doe. He's thirty years old, Philadelphia, and his phone number is two one five 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 one two one two. All right, and we assign a variable a to represent our object, our list object that contains all this information. Now, like I said, it's very important to be able to access this information on its own, not just the list. Like, I could access the list by just going A, all right? But that doesn't do me any good. Um, say I just wanted the user's first name, all right? So to do that, we do A, and we've seen this with uh, strings before. We do square bracket, and the first um, index position is always zero. So to get the first name, I need to use zero. So it's zero and then square bracket hit A and it returns John. So that's how I access the user's first name in a list. Um, now, the next um, one would be one. So if I want to access his um, last name, I would have to use one. A, square bracket, one, square bracket, doe. So it goes on like that. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. And that's how I go through and access users or list objects. So that's how we index them. <clears throat> so let's put this into like a, a practical use where we would use it. Um, let's create a string. And we're going to use a variable to represent that string. So let's do uh, user first name is and we're going to do um, uh, formatting like we learned in um, strings recently to access these users names. So name or actually I should do first first and last name is format last and he is um, if you can see that format in that old and um, he lives in city Sorry, can't type today. He lives in the city, and we'll end our string there. We won't put the phone number in there. So there's our string. All right, now we're going to do b.format. All right, and then our, parenth our parentheses. And now, if you remember back to formatting, these are our keywords that represent where we want to insert our information. So if I go first equals and I can go a and now I'm going to index a square bracket 0 
square bracket, and I'm going to do comma, and I'm going to do last, a square bracket, whoops, I do equals, a square bracket, one. So first, a square bracket zero is accessing the first name, last, a, um, a square bracket one, accessing the last name, and our next one is going to be, uh, where is it, old, equals a square bracket two, and then city equals a bracket, or a square bracket um, three. And we'll close out our parentheses, hit return, and it goes, user's first name is John, last name is Doe, he is 30, 30 and he lives in Philadelphia. That sentence really doesn't make much sense, but I hope you get the idea. So what we did was, we access our list. And our list holds a lot of information. And this is why it's important to understand indexing in um, Python using a list. See, I contained, I put all my information in a list, and then I went and accessed it using indexing. All right, so just remember, this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Now, say I want to access it backwards. Say I want to start over here and go backwards. Well, for me to get the phone number, I could do a square bracket negative one square bracket. Hit return. It returns me the phone number. All right. Why not? Why did I use negative one? Well, when you go backwards, it always starts at one, not zero. From the left to right, it's zero. From right to left, it's um, negative one. All right. So. Um, the next one, if I want to access Philadelphia, I do a square bracket, negative two, square bracket, hit return, and I get Philadelphia, all right, and so on. So if I want to get the age, a square bracket, negative three, square bracket, hit return, and I get 30. So indexing is very simple. It's just like doing it in strings like we've learned, but you would use indexing a lot more with list. Um, I had a user ask me when would I use indexing and slicing on a string. Well, we don't really use it all that often with a string unless we're trying to pull certain data out of a string. But it's not, you know, practical to do it that way. Um, but with list, we use it a lot more often because we got to access data. And list holds data. And data is very important in programming. So if we want to access the data, we need to know how to index. Now, um, one other thing I want to talk about. Say we wanted to, uh, well, I got to move this up so you guys can see. Um, say we wanted to access a couple um, objects in a list at the same time. Well, we can do like uh, print, and I can do a square bracket zero. Square bracket, comma, a square bracket, one square bracket, parentheses, hit return, and I get John Doe. All right. Um, so what happens there is basically we're going through and saying, hey, I want to index the first index position and return that, and I want to index the second index position and return that, and then it prints it out. Um, I could also do it without a print statement. I could do a square bracket, zero square bracket comma, a square bracket, one square bracket, and get John Doe in a tuple, all right? Um, but you don't want to show that to your user, so most likely you use a print statement. Uh, so if you have any questions about indexing lists in Python, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.